Hello guys, and I know you guys were all waiting for the review on this quadcopter, and so was I. And I was actually hoping to be able to, uh, I don't know, fly it? Okay, I'll just get right to it. I don't want this video to be too long. I'll explain what's going on. I am not going to share any of the banter going back and forth yet with the uh, supplier, but in the next video, if things aren't rectified to the point where I think things should have been done, then we'll go there. So let's explain what happened. You guys can see all this paint and the blades are hitting because they're all smashed. And if you look right here carefully, this is cracked. Now I'll give it something there. Very decently durable because this slammed into a garage door three, about two, three houses away from me at full tilt. Now, let me explain what happened. So I wonderfully took, you know, battery, put it in, took the radio and decided it's time to bind the two together. And basically like any quadcopter, you turn the copter on first, you turn your radio on and it will sync up to the radio. That was easy enough. Turned it on, everything synced up, but it did something I didn't ask it to do. And that was full spin, take off and gone. Tried to uh, control the takeoff, didn't happen. I tried to return home, didn't happen. In fact, this was utterly, absolutely useless when that took off. So I had no control whatsoever and thank God nobody got hurt. Now I contacted him and he goes, oh yeah, no problem. We'll send you out a part. We'll replace this and get you back on your way. Now, <laughs> I guess I should have talked about the blades a little bit because ain't enough blades here to fix all this. I seem to be one short, but that might be me losing one. Not sure. Bottom line is I should be able to get blade wise because some of them are still okay. And when I say that, I mean they don't hit. <laughs> I'm not gonna say they were okay. This one's probably the nicest one here. Um, but bottom line is I should be able to get that part fixed. Now, they sent me the part. Now back and forth, we were talking about sending me another quad because what if the electronics in this are messed up? In fact, why would it take off all on its own and blast across no control, smash. And we're talking like a good hit. I mean, that is paint from a garage door. Now that's where I say durable. And the fact that this didn't snap completely off blows my mind. So the part arrives. It's not a quadcopter, it's an arm. Now I would have been completely fine with this, except for I told him looking from the back, it is the right front arm. Looking from the front, it is the left front arm. This is a rear arm. Right off the bat, when I took it out to fix it the other day, I realized, well, where's that? Must be a clip-on. No, that's not a clip-on. That's part of it. And that is not going to work. So, contacted him. And he goes, oh, we're so sorry. We sent you the wrong arm. So I went back through my messages and made sure I'm not the idiot. And I wanted to, you know, I, I didn't want to have a, a no ground to stand on. And on September 27th, I had told him the proper arm. So I have proof backing up all of our chatter. Again, unless I have to send it or let people view it to a point I will. But at this point, I'm, I'm still in talks. There's still a possibility of some redemption here. So guys, I can't fix the quadcopter because this is actually broken. I thought about gluing this. Um, I might be able to glue it and maybe get some flight testing done until I wait for the uh, correct arm. And the nice thing about these correct arms, so here is one thing I will say so far. Who doesn't like that? Your lights are already in, your motor's brushless motor, so you've gotten your brushless motor replaced, even though I should still have a good motor, I hope. 
but that's an extra part I now have. And then you have an actual plug-in system here. So you basically take this apart, drop that in, plug it in, boom. I gotta give him props there. That is where I will give him props. If he had known the right part or sent the right part, this would have been an easy fix. Like very easy fix. It would have been like, you know, pop it in, go through a pin, whatever it is it goes through. This plugs in, turn it all back on so they sync up, voila. But it is the wrong arm. So, I was gonna try and change the blades and do things on this video, but I just wanted to keep it as very short as possible, give you guys an update. I'm not ruling the quadcopter out as a bad product. I wanna make that clear. I'm not saying my experience is exactly satisfactory or not at this point, but I am saying that this did not do what I asked it to do when I first started it up to actually start. Basically all I wanted to do, I was getting ready to do the video for you guys. I wanted to dial it all in and then I would talk about dialing it all in. I didn't even get a chance to film because it went <laughs> gone, gone. And then, so guys, I will update you guys on this. Um, I will let you know too, I have another quadcopter coming because hey, winter's coming, indoor flight, with FPV and all that kind of thing. It sounds a little cool to me. So I have a mini coming basically of this. I don't know how good yet, but it is on the way. It's actually past customs in Canada now. So I should see it soon. And I wanna do a review on that as I think it would make an amazing Christmas gift. Not that this wouldn't. As long as when I get it back together, it flies. Now, apparently I have a second one of these coming that I accidentally paid for. But anyway, that's a different story. We're going to try and get this story to make it a happy one. And I just wanted to let you guys know in this update, I haven't forgotten this. It's not going anywhere. It is going to get repaired and it is going to get a flight test and a full review. Anyway, guys, till next time, thank you for putting up with me and watching this video. And till next time, we'll have a working quadcopter. Game over.